Can you see my screen? Yes, we can see your screen. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to start my presentation. Konbanwa, Japonekto no Ayaka des. Kyowa, Nihon no Jidosha Sangyo Nitsuite, Ohanashi Stekitaito Moimas. Good evening, good evening, everyone. My name is Ayaka from Japonekt. Uh, of major university and today I'm going to talk about Japanese automobile industry. So, and do you know how many automobile companies there are in Japan? The correct answer is here in the this slide and there are many automobile industries. Today's presentation will focus on Toyota. まずはトヨタについてお伝えします。会社名はトヨタ自動車公式会社と言います。uh, so company's name is Toyota Motor Corp Corporation. And date of date of establishment is 1937 and Sorry. And the principal business is um, production and sales of automobiles. Location of head office is on Toyota City and Aichi Prefecture. 実は私たちジャポネクトメンバーが通う名城大学も愛知県にあります。世界的な企業が私たちの住む地域にあることはとっても誇らしいです。In fact, major university where we Japanect members go is also located in Aichi Prefecture. Um, I am so proud that a world-class company is located in our area. 私は小学生の時に先生にトヨタの自動車工場に見学に連れて行ってもらいました。When I, I was in elementary school, my teacher took me on a field trip to Toyota Automobile Plant. とても楽しかったです。It was so pleasure.次にトヨタの歴史についてお話します。and next, I'm going to talk about the history of Toyota. まず、1918年にトヨタ防石株式会社が設立されます。トヨタ創業者の父が防石の会社を始めました。創業者の父が自ら開発した自動旗織り機を使って綿製品を作り、国内外に輸出をしていました。Eighteen, and the Toyota Spinning Corporation was established. The father of Toyota's founder started a spinning company using an automatic loom developed by the founder's father himself. The company made cotton products and exported them domestically and in internationally. そして1933年会社の中に自動車製作部門が設置されます。自動車事業を手掛けるのは初めてであったため、自動車の製作に詳しい人材を日本だけでなく海外から集め研究を進めました。an automobile production department was set up within the company, and automobile production began. 
since this was the first time for the company to be involved in the automobile, automobile business, personnel with extra expertise in automobile manufacturing were re relying from Japan and other countries to conduct the research. そして1937年、自動車部門が独立して、トヨタ自動車工業株式会社が設立されます。On 1937, an automobile division becomes independent and Toyota Motor Corporation is established. その後、日本は戦争に突入,突入したため、陸軍向けのトラック製作が中心になりました。Later, as Japan entered the war, so truck policy for the army took center stage. 戦後は破壊された工場の立て直し、従業員の数の減少など困難に見舞われますが、トラックはこれから日本を復興する際にも重要な道具である。トヨタはそれを作って供給する責任がある。だからそのつもりで再出発しようという当時の社長の決意で事業再開に向けて奮闘します。After the war, Toyota faced the difficulties such as rebuilding destroyed factories and a decrease in the number of employees. But the company was determined to continue its efforts, saying trucks will be an important tool for the Reconstruction of Japan in the future. Toyota has a responsibility to make and supply them. So let's make a fresh start with that in mind, with the determination of the present at the time. The company struggled to, struggle, struggle to restart its business. そして1955年に日本初の国産乗用車であるトヨペットクラウンを発表します。On 1955, an Japanese first purely domestic passenger car, トヨペットクラウン、was established. そして1966年にはファミリー向けのカローラが発売されます。On 1966, Carola for Family Words were cut, launched. Carola は対象者ブームを引き起こし、世界中でも人気になりました。1974年には乗用車別生産台数で世界一を記録するまでになりました。The Carola triggered a mass market car boom and became popular around the world. By 1974, it was the world's most produced passenger car by volume. 1989年にはアメリカ向けの高級車、レクサスが発売されます。On 1989, the Lexus luxury, the Lexus luxury car for the US market was,、um, was launched. その後は日本を代表するグローバル企業として経済界のリーダーとなりました。Since then, it has become a global company representing Japan and a leader in the economic world. 今回は時間の関係で詳しい歴史までお伝えすることはできませんでしたが、英語で見られるトヨタの歴史に関する公式ホームページがあるので、ぜひ見てみてください。Um, I'm sorry, so due to time constraints, we were not able, I am not, I'm not able to provide a detailed history of the company this time. However, we have, I have an, and Toyota has an official website about Toyota's history, which you can view in English. So I'm going to share the, the official website link later. 次にトヨタのグローバルな活躍について話していきます。So next, I'm going to talk about Toyota's global activities. トヨタのグローバルビジョンはスライドにある通りです。Toyota's global vision is shown on the slide. 車に乗る人々のことを第一に安全や環境に配慮しながら経営を進めています。
and Toyota managed their cooperation with safety and environmental concerns in mind, putting the people who drive us uh, vehicle first. 世界の環境保護への関心から1997年には世界初の量産型ハイブリッド乗用車プリウスを世に送り出すなど世界をリードする自動車を生産しています。Um, a global concern for world concern for global environmental protection has led Toyota to produce world leading automobiles, including the world's First mass produced hybrid passenger car, the, the Prius in 1997. また、トヨタは世界中に車を生産する工場を持ち、現在では生産、販売も海外で進めています。トヨタ also has plans, or plan, has plans all over the world producing cars and promoting local production and sales. 現在はアメリカ、カナダ、メキシコ、アルゼンチン、ブラジルなどの南アメリカ、フランス、イギリスなどのヨーロッパ諸国、南アフリカやエジプトなどのアフリカ諸国、中国、インドネシアなどといったアジア諸国にも生産拠点があります。And、currently, Toyota has production facilities in South America, including the United States, Canada, メキシコ、And so on. And there is a lot of plants in the world. Next, Toyota no Mirai n i t s i e a n a s h t e k i t a i t o m o i m a s Ah, I'm so sorry. Um, Nisan Niju Ichin and Niva, Toyota Jido Shakrup, Sekai Hanbai Daisiva, Isan Yon, Isan Yonju Kuman Gosen Dai Amari De. ドイツのフォルクスワーゲングループを上回り、2年連続で世界トップとなりました。In 2021, the Toyota Motor Group will sell a little over an... a man, I'm sorry, one, one million and one million, sorry. And so in 2021, the Toyota Motor Group will sell a little over an auto vehicles worldwide, surpassing Germany's Volkswagen Group and becoming the world's top automaker, auto, world's top automaker for the second year in a row. 次に、トヨタの未来について話していきます。皆さん、この場所が何だかわかりますか ?So, I, next, I'm going to talk about the future of Toyota. And do you know what this place it is?、うん、これは2020年1月7日、アメリカ・ラスベガスで開催された世界最大規模のエレクトロニクス見本市で発表されたトヨタが開発するウーブンシティというものです。And this is the urban city to be developed By Toyota, which was announced on January 7, and which was announced on 2020 at the world's largest electronics trade show held in Las Vegas, USA. ロボット、AI、自動運転、パーソナルモビリティ、スマートホームといった先端技術を人々のリアルな生活環境の中に導入。検証できる実験都市を新たに作り上げるために計画されました。It was planned to create a new ex experimental, experimental city where, where advanced technologies such as robotics, AI, automated driving, automated driving personal mobi mobility, and smart homes. Can be introduced and tested in people's real living environment. 実際に2021年2月から検察が進められています。Construction of r u b e n City is actually underway from February 2021.
最後にトヨタが新しく販売する車についてお話ししていきたいと思います。これはトヨタが新しく販売する予定の、えっと、BZ4BZ4X という車です。新型の BEV 車です。BEV とはバッテリー式電気自動車のことでこの車は高い電気性能と世界トップレベルの電池容量維持率を持っています CO2 排出量削減のための工夫もされており最新の事故防止のためのシステムも組み込まれていますトヨタ is pleased to announce the launch of new vehicle the BZ4X It is A new BEV vehicle called、um, BEV vehicle.、Um, BEV means、um, B and this car has a battery electric V. And B, sorry, VZ4X is a battery electric vehicle with high power efficiency and world class battery capacity. Retention and to reduce CO2 emissions. And this car was made this car was made to reduce CO2 emissions and to reduce the car accident. 2022年5月12日に実際発売されます。And this car will be launched on May 12.2022. これで日本の自動車会社トヨタについての発表を終わります。何か質問がございましたら気軽に尋ねてください。ご清聴ありがとうございました。And so I'm going to finish this pre my presentation on the Japanese automobile company Toyota. If you, if you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Thank you for listening. Okay, thank you very much. I think、uh, please give a round of applause by reacting uh, uh, this mark.、Uh, I think、uh, very interesting、uh, presentation and thank you very much.、Uh, I think、uh, in Sri Lanka,、uh, I think all, all our participants will agree that、uh, Toyota is one of the most uh, popular uh, brands in Sri Lanka. Uh, for a couple of reasons,、uh, that is uh, quality, uh, durability, uh, and efficiency. So, I think、uh, those are three areas uh, which is uh, why uh, uh, the Toyota is very popular in Sri Lanka. And uh, also, uh, when it comes to efficiency,、uh, they, they are <clears throat>、uh, management uh, principles are being highly regarded in Sri Lanka. Um, mainly with the Sri Lankan companies. So I think、uh, a lot of uh, companies, uh, the heads of companies to、uh, even the middle management, aspire to go to Toyota to learn about uh, their uh, efficient uh, practices. I think that's very important. So、uh, Toyota is one key company if you go to Japan, I think, to visit. Isn't that so? So,、uh, so that is that, so that's why it's a very important、uh, presentation that、uh, was made. And、uh, <clears throat> thank you once again. So, uh, we uh, open our discussion for questions.、Uh, if you have any questions, please、uh, unmute your mic and ask, or you can actually put、uh, the questions、uh, in the chat box and ask、uh, any question. I'm sure you would have、uh, questions.、Uh, What is the price of brand new BZ4X? That's the, <clears throat> that's the <clears throat> car which you actually showed, the last, the last picture that you showed, which is the kind of a future vehicle which is going to be launched, I suppose.
uh, which is with uh, um, uh, poor efficient and uh, so uh, can you give a kind of a indication as to what the price would be uh, even okay in I'm, I'm searching now Ah, uh, yeah, um, you can mention in uh, yen, that's fine. Okay, um. And six million yen. Six million yen. Yeah, about six million yen. Okay. And the other version is six million, six point five million yen. Okay, so uh, that that uh, yeah, direct conversion will be around uh, twelve point five or th that's about thirteen uh, million uh, Sri Lankan rupees without duty. But uh, I think uh, Sri Lanka has the highest duty structure. Which is about two hundred percent duty, uh, mm -hmm. so when it, it it will come to a like six times of the price of what you quoted. Okay, so there is another question uh, which we have uh, which uh, uh, a participant has asked: What is the Toyota logo mean? Is there a meaning for the Toyota logo, or what does it? Uh, why is is there a story behind the Toyota logo, or is there is there a meaning? And this is. And difficult to describe for me, but there are three circles, and I can I can show the logo means. Okay. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Yes, this. Can you show? Can you see the? Yes, can see. Picture. Yes. Yeah. So, T O Y O. T A. Oh, so that's Toyota. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, the alphabet uh, combined that one mark. I think uh, a lot of our participants, mm -hmm. even we, did not know uh, that. I think mm -hmm. that's uh, yeah. quite an interesting. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. I think so too. Okay. Thank you very much. I think that was quite an insightful uh, comment. Any other questions uh, by our participants? See, uh, there are a lot of uh, unknown aspects and facts that you will would want to know from Toyota. So Toyota is one of the leading big multinational of a, of a Japanese company, which is a, a global company now. So uh, it's actually important and it will be interesting to know more and more about Toyota not only about the cars, but their practices, how they manufacture the standards that they have, uh, all those things actually, uh, there is a big area to it. So there is a lot of inputs that uh, Toyota puts into uh, the machinery that they use, the robots they use to manufacture to all that. What is just-in-time system, which is known to be introduced by Toyota, JIT, JIT? Just in time system. I don't know. I heard the system name for the first time. I'm okay, just, just in time. According, I think we have, uh, as far as we we know, we just we have studied. I think uh, it's about the uh, the spare parts. I think uh, or the parts of a car. car uh, which comes uh, exactly on time uh, uh, without keeping it on stock. So they don't keep uh, the parts in stock. They order it on time. So when the when the when the order is going on on that time, the I think the parts come in. Not only the parts, the material, the uh, raw material, 
comes exactly on time without keeping uh, a stock. So keeping a stock will actually increase the cost of production. So uh, without keeping a stock, uh, the <coughs> spare parts, the parts and the uh, raw material comes uh, on time uh, for the parts to be uh, manufactured. I think that probably is what, uh, Professor, is that what, uh, am I right? That's right. That's right. Yes. Actually, now keeping stocks uh, is having many uh, costs, uh, somewhat like storing uh, expenses, then space, and so many things. Uh, as an example, suppose that. Uh, suppose that uh, the company plans to produce 1000 cars today. So all the raw materials will come to the factory today very early in the morning before the production starts so that there is no need to keep stocks. So that uh, actually this, con uh, this uh, concept is spread uh, throughout the world. Uh, there is another question. What are the benefits of Toyota. Well, uh, the question, uh, I don't think the question we are clear about the benefits of uh, a Toyota car or uh, maybe special characteristics of Toyota cars. Is that what uh, uh, Chamilka Lakshan, you can actually be a little more specific about your question. We would be really appreciating. A Toyota car. Uh, perhaps uh, what are the special aspects of Toyota car? The special characteristics. I think so. I think in Sri Lanka, I actually mentioned uh, the most important characteristics why Toyota have become very popular is, is for the quality, efficiency, and durability. Uh, if you have a Toyota vehicle, you don't have to worry about anything else. You just run the vehicle because you are sure that you will not have any problem. And also the fuel efficiency is also something that they have mastered. I think uh, those are three key characteristics of a Toyota car, of a Toyota automobile. Uh, anything that is to be added by uh, uh, Mr. Kisan or Arakisan, uh, anything else that you would like to add? I think, um, on, of course, the uh, quality of cars, so it's difficult to break. And also, I think uh, when I drive the car, I, it's easy to drive, more easier to drive than any other company's cars okay so dry air so it's uh, user user friendly mm -hmm. right and uh, one of the another concept of toyota car manufacturer is that provide the very high quality car very high quality and advanced car at a very cheap price yes because uh, the Toyota company wanted uh, everybody to uh, own a car so that if the uh, quality is, of course, important, but uh, if the price is very high, not everybody can buy it. Therefore, Toyota introduced a system to produce high quality and high technology cars at a very low cost. I think that's also a key, key concept because of their efficiency in managing uh, their processors, uh, they are able to do that uh, because uh, they also manufacture in large quantities and with their uh, highly uh, uh, efficient processors, uh, like just in time, uh, they are able to bring down the cost and give uh, a quality car at a very, very uh, affordable price, I would say. Yes, that is true. Uh, so I think we have been discussing some good points. Any, we have another, let's say we'll give another couple of minutes to, uh, for any participants to further clarify any areas uh, if you like to. 
So um, uh, while saying, uh, yes. Okay, question from me to Misaki-san, and you were saying that you were driving. Uh, do you have a car? Sorry. Uh, do you have a car for yourself? No. Um, my family's car is... Family car. Yeah, family. My mother, my mother's mother and car. father's car is our, our Toyota. And the also, Toyota. I, I drive, um, so, yeah, I took a driver's license. And also, I practiced how to driving and police. Do you know police? Ah, uh, police. I break yeah. car. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, it's really easy to drive and also quiet. So, like the sound, driving sound. No. Okay, very poor uh, economy, yeah. poor effective. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I. Hmm. So almost cars are Toyota. In yes, in Nagoya family. area, in the central Japan area, almost all cars are Toyota. Mm. Mm. Thank you. So, uh, okay, the part, yeah, the participants, okay. we encourage you to ask questions as well as to interact because this is a good opportunity that we have provided you to interact with uh, the students of major university so that uh this is a very rare opportunity so may i think it's better and try and make use of that opportunity so uh try and ask as uh, many as questions as possible one is to actually interact uh, and uh, in this kind of a opportunity and also to get to know uh, more insight uh, on the subject area today being uh, the toyota uh, particularly to Sri Lankan students, you may be interested of uh, knowing how many cars are there in Japan for one family in general. Can somebody ask that question from your voice? Anybody who will come? In my family, um, mother, father, mother, and me. And also, without me, everyone has own car. So oh. we have three cars. Yeah. I see three cars. Mm. I see. So I am sure you will also buy a car very soon. Uh, when do you want to buy your car? Yeah. When when do you mm -hmm. want to buy your car? Uh, uh, uh probably graduate graduating from university so i when i get job probably because we we need cars to get some companies buy cars especially in nagoya okay okay so i think uh, we have uh, okay we uh, so um, i think in sri lanka uh, also uh, many families have uh, many cars but uh, uh, how do, uh, do uh, the commuters or passengers mostly go in your cars or do they use uh, public transportation Your mic is mute. Okay, I will ask the question in a different form. Uh, uh, when you go to university, how do you go there? You buy your car or uh, by another means? Okay, unmute your uh, mic. Mic was mute on this. And me. Uh, anybody, anybody in general, in general, how university uh, students go to university? 
Um, most oh. of university students go they go to university by um, subway train. And some of students go to university by bicycle. Why not by cars? Um, because um, many students don't, don't have their own car and they only have a family, their parents' car. So maybe they can drive freely. And most of my friends is scared of driving cars because um, I also I'm I'm also scared of driving because there is a, a lot of traffic accident in IG. So yeah, most many many young people don't want to drive car many times I think and also my our university the major university forbids it forbids cars so we we can't drive we can't go to university by cars however some some university don't forbid it doesn't forbid going by cars so um, not so many but few students go to university by cars in japan yes actually another supporting information is that the students don't go to school by car because the public transportation is very rich there are buses, then subway, then ordinary trains, and so many modes are there to travel everywhere. And there is no traffic because of this. But in Sri Lanka, I think you will see that uh, all people, uh, most of the people, uh, actually almost all, uh, everybody, if they have a car, they use that one because the public transportation is not uh, so good in Sri Lanka. Yes, that's true. So in Sri Lanka, there we have uh, drivers uh, in the rich, uh, I think, rich families. Uh, do you have drivers in rich families who would drive so that you don't have to drive? You have drivers uh, who would drive the vehicles for you? Uh, drivers. Mike, Mr. Giza, Mike, you are mute. Drivers, so could you say that? No, <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any, mu any much money. <laughs> no. Yes, in Sri Lanka, middle class uh, people also uh, hire drivers, so they have drivers in Sri Lanka. I see. So probably rich people use the taxi. So not higher. Not higher. Not no. higher. Wow. It is, well, why, why is that? What is the reason? Uh, I think we don't have enough money to high to get higher and also some people enjoy driving by themselves and in my situation i like driving so probably they want to drive themselves Okay. instead of high years okay thank you very much are you saying something your mic is mute um, 
driver's salary is very high in Japan. And um, yeah, and if people don't want to drive and their own car or people don't have they don't have their own car and um, many people use taxi and instead of the car yeah i think so i think uh, <clears throat> uh we have uh, discussed and we have actually clarified a lot of areas uh, about uh, the Toyota uh, company, about the Toyota vehicles, uh, the Toyota processors. I think uh, there was a lot of information uh, uh, which was uh, uh, which was available or which came out today. So uh, uh, we would like to thank you uh, the, uh, for presenting this uh, very interesting area. I think that would have been definitely a very interesting and a very informative presentations to our uh, participants. So thank you very much uh, for the presentation and it was excellent indeed. Uh, and also I would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, the participants also uh, for actively participating. Uh, and uh, looking forward, please look forward for next week, uh, Wednesday, we will come again on this same link, uh, we will, uh, present or the these should, the major university students will present another very important and an interesting area about uh, uh, another aspect of Japan. So yesterday we discussed about a very important area uh, about the Budo. Uh, those are the martial arts of Japan. Uh, and uh, today another interesting area about uh, key area that is the Toyota uh, company. Likewise, uh, next week we'll discuss uh, uh, or present uh, some other very interesting areas. So please uh, be present uh, uh, next week as well. And uh, you would actually get a good opportunity to listen uh, to uh, uh, Misaki-san and uh, Araki-san uh, and probably uh, their team on other areas. So look forward for another interesting area next week. And thank you very much and have a good evening. Thank you very much for your uh, kind uh, <clears throat> comments. It's so encouraging. Uh, most uh, of them have thanked uh, uh, your team of the students of major university thank you very much uh, just one uh, information actually sri lanka is having a very hard time because of the power cut yes. and uh, the number of participants even though they wanted to join the, this session unfortunately uh, uh, most of the participants uh, have been faced into this uh, electricity uh, issue that means no power so please uh, we would like to apologize for you for that Thank you very much for your preparations and we look forward to meeting you next week. Okay, thank you very much uh, again. Thank you. Thank you for listening and thank you for joining.